Okay, David Bowie, top 10 albums. Okay, number 10, right now. David Live, um, 1974. And I couldn't believe it when I first heard this because his voice was a little bit shot. <laughs> What was that then? Because this was the period when, you know, he was, he was into nose candy. Here, are you sure this is right? <laughs> and all that kind of thing, God knows what else. And it had obviously, you know, taken its toll on his voice. But having said that, there was a rawness to that voice. And I love this album and I played it over and over and it was a major influence. So yeah, number 10, David Live. Number nine, next. Let's Dance. Um, Miles Rogers produced from uh, Chic. And some great songs on this. A lot of people wouldn't put this in the top 10, but it's, I like it, you know. Let's Dance, China Girl. I could escape this feeling with my China Girl. Modern Love um, and of course the Serious Moonlight Tour was based around this album and I, I thought it was great so there you go number nine Let's Dance number eight Young Americans again his voice was you know a little bit shot but you know it gave it that rhythm not rhythm and blues was it soul it was soul wasn't it it was soul that it was after um, yeah, because um, Luther Vandross was on backing vocals and yeah, it, this is a great album, you know, Fame's on this. Is there any wonder? Um, Young Americans, obviously, Win, which is a great, I love Win, Win is a great song. All you got to do is win. So yeah, that's number eight, Young Americans, brilliant album. Um, Okay, The Man Who Sold The World. This is the original cover for The Man Who Sold The World. The, the, the one I bought. It was the first Bowie album I ever bought, actually. Um, was the black and white cover and he was kicking his leg up. Um, but yeah, this was the first album I bought in Bowie's. And at the time, I loved it. I played it, played it constantly, loved it. I uh, loved all the songs. Uh, all the Madman I used to play over and over with the Berserkle as well. Um, so yeah, that's number seven, Man Who Sold the World. <laughs> uh, number six, Space Oddity. Um, great album again. They're all great albums, aren't they? If they're in the top ten, they're a great album. Um, but I was a little lad. A Babe in Arms when Space Oddity, the single, came out and... I remember sitting backwards on the chair and when it was on the radio as if it was an astronaut. Oh, <laughs> nice. Um, so yeah, um, some great tracks on this. Um, Signet Committee, I love. It's like a little mini opera. Um, Wild Eyed Boy from Free Cloud. Um, did I say that right? Wild Eyed Boy from Free Cloud, that's it. Um, great track. There's, there's loads of brilliant tracks on this. Um, so there you go, number six, Space Oddity. To my okay, okay, number five, Pinups. Um, yeah, brilliant. I think this is the best covers album ever. Um, and he made this after Brian Ferry made his. Is it These Foolish Things? Something like that, was it? Yeah, anyway. He wanted to do something and he made this pinups. Um, this came after he'd finished his Ziggy thing, you know. Um, 1973, finished with July 73, finished with Ziggy, and he came out with this. And there's Twiggy on the front. And I think this is a brilliant album. And Ainsley Dunbar is on drums. And I'm not taking anything away from Woody, Woody Woodbansy. He was his drummer before. Ainsley, because Woody's brilliant, but uh, Ainsley on this is just like, he's having a seizure. He's like Animal from The Muppet Show. It's brilliant. Uh, so, yeah, um, there you go, pinups. With your long blonde hair and your 
eyes are blue. Okay, number four is Aladdin Sane. And yeah, what can you say about Aladdin Sane? It's just fantastic, isn't it? Every song, you know, time, you know, time, panic in Detroit, Lady Grinning Soul. Gene Genie Driving Saturday. Driving Saturday is probably my favourite Bowie song. His name was always funny and do trying to ask to stay. So yeah, that's number four, Aladdin Sane. Number three, this would probably be a lot of people's number one, Ziggy. And um Yeah. Just a classic, isn't it? You know, it changed music. It changed everything. And we all seen him on top of the pop singing star man and it, it did it change our lives yeah it changed our lives in a big way so there you go number three ziggy the rise and fall of ziggy stardust i'm an alligator i'm a mama papa coming for you number two hunky dory um which is brilliant. It's, it's great this album. I love playing the songs on this, on the acoustic guitar. There's so many songs you can play on acoustic. Well, I'm up in the 11th floor and I'm watching the cruises below. Um, and it's Life on Mars. Again, probably my second favourite Bowie song, Life on Mars. Sailors fighting in the dance hall. And the quicksand, you know, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol looks a scream, hang him on my wall. There's so many. Brilliant album, fantastic album. Hunky Dory number two. Wake up the sleepy hell, put on some clothes, shake up your bed. Okay, so number one, and this will probably surprise a lot of people, but it's my number one, and I think it's fantastic, and it's fab, and it's gear, and it's Diamond Dogs and yes 1974 and we all couldn't believe the cover at the time you know he was a dog here are we going for a walk <laughs> he turned into a dog and he had all dog bits and everything and and then the cover was you know sort of cleaned up and then he didn't have any dog bits but originally he did have dog bits and, and we were all like but yeah he's a dog <laughs> And uh, yeah, but the album itself was just oh groundbreaking, you know, uh, oh just unbelievable songs. Sweet thing, you know, 1984, Big Brother, Rebel Rebels on this. Hot trail, I love you so. Diamond Dogs, great track. So yeah, there you go. That's my number one, Diamond Dogs, from Bowie, from David Bowie. All right, <laughs> that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, goodbye. And goodbye from Dave, alright? <laughs> was that alright, was it? <laughs>